What a week it has been for those of us who live in the Dallas area. I'm especially thinking of those of you who have uh, moved in with someone else temporarily without power. Our prayers are with you, and hopefully this weekend you'll be back in your home and the power will be on again. And I also think about those who are without homes uh, all the time, who are uh, seeking out warming centers and places to get out of the cold. Uh, let's keep them in our hearts and our minds, and we're grateful for cities and organizations who have made space available for them to get out of the cold. And let's uh, keep working on behalf of those who are poor so that uh, no one has to endure a storm like this one and be out in the elements. Sunday is the first Sunday of Lent, and yesterday we began our journey of Lent toward, the, uh, toward Easter and the empty tomb uh, with our Ash Wednesday service. We gathered together, uh, we spent some time with Psalm 25, we prayed, we sang together, and we remembered that from dust we have come and to dust we shall return. We thought about our own mortality and how uh, our faith and our trust in God gives us a connection to life beyond death, that our eternal life is already underway. It's been a tough year, it's been a tough week, and there's a lot to lament, there's also a lot to rejoice, and God is with us through it all. And on Sunday, we gather together as that weekly rhythm and habit uh, to just stay connected with the one who is always with us. So however we're feeling this weekend, let's gather together on Sunday and begin together the journey toward the empty tomb. We're also going to have a special a time during worship to dedicate uh, some children, some babies, some newborns. And so gather with us as we uh, pray and for these families and these children as they are nurtured in the faith in this church. And finally, on Sunday, we will spend time in Mark 1, verses 9 through 13. We've spent uh, several weeks looking at the rest of chapter 1 of Mark, and now we're going to go back and look at what happens just before Jesus begins his ministry and calls disciples to follow him and learn how to fish for people. And what we see in these verses is the Holy Spirit at work. And as you look over these verses in advance for Sunday, just think about uh, your relationship with God through the Spirit and what the Spirit is doing in your life right now. The Spirit is moving. Like I said earlier, there's a lot for us to lament and a lot for us to rejoice. We're going to be feeling a lot of different things like we do every week as we come together. And let's come together and spend time with these verses and this story and remember how the Spirit works in our lives. See you then.